the pandemic related slowdown, the bank margin and acquisitions are finally getting back on track. This return to form is a good news for the industry, but it also comes as a challenge for the banking IT leader. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Tasmiya Islam, a student of Business and Technology Management Department in Islamic University of Technology. I have been assigned to prepare a video presentation by our microeconomics course teacher, Dr. Abul Kalam Ajat. Today, in my presentation, I am going to talk about after the mergers, how banks should modernize their applications. First, we will need to understand what is bank margin. Now, imagine a situation where two separate banks pool their assets and liabilities together to become one separate bank. That will be called bank margin. Mergers are completed. The questions of how do banks now reduce the application sprawl and overspending across the rapidly growing environments. This process starts with application rationalization. Now you might be thinking, what is application rationalization? It basically is a process of evaluating your application inventory to determine which app needs to stay, which can be modified to suit your merger goals and which needs to be retired. Chuck Cross, an enterprise solution consultant for SoftServe, a CDW partner, says application rationalization has four steps. Step one is understanding the applications you have. Before rationalization, banks need to understand what apps they have, where they are, and how they're being used. Achieving this visibility isn't always that easy. March staff may become concerned about their job security and become less communicative as a result. To deal with this, banks need to be methodical. They need to figure out what apps they have, what app dependencies they have, and what endpoints they got. Step 2 is securing the applications you need. Before putting in the work to rationalize applications, banks need to create a secure framework that protects the technology stacks and provides an environment that facilitates changes without introducing risk. Step 3 is rationalizing your system. For this process, a classification-based approach should be taken. For example, apps that are both valuable and cost-effective, investments should be made for their expansion. Again, apps that offer value but aren't tied to specific operational frameworks are worth migrating. But for the apps that don't work well in cloud-based environments can be eliminated. Then comes the step 4, which is integrating new and existing IT tools. The app rationalization is only the first part of the IT merger process. Banks now need new tools such as robust VPNs, virtual desktop infrastructures, and collaboration solutions to ensure that their stuff can work from anywhere effectively. The bottom line is successful bank merger and acquisitions require effective app rationalization to help limit sprawl, reduce spending, and streamline post-merger operations. Thank you for being patient and watching this video.